My name is Andrew Barty King. Several years ago, I found myself unexpectedly on a number of hotel-related projects in China at quite short notice. Decisions and activities can happen very suddenly in, in China at a, quite a short period of notice. Six weeks before the opening of our hotel in Qingdao that I was involved with, we were told at the morning meeting there would be a visit from the head office in Beijing of the owning company. We had that week finished cleaning the hotel, cleaned the whole building of dust, because dust after construction settles on everything and it's very hard to get rid of it. We just finished that. Two days after we were given the information, two buses drew up outside the hotel and 30 people with uh, notepads and pencils and pens. They went into the lobby, they went through the lobby to the lifts and they went up to the 29th floor. I followed them with a couple of colleagues because we wanted to see what they were going to do. We knew that the chairman of the company was going to come and stay in the presidential suite on the 29th floor and that's where they had gone and everybody was making notes. The leader of this group was asking them to observe certain things, pieces of furniture. This went on for about half an hour. Then they all came out, went back downstairs, noted some further items in the lobby, got back into the bus and drove off. Three days after that, construction crews arrived in the hotel and they removed whole sections of um, black marble that were around certain areas of the lift. And then they went up to the presidential suite and they removed some of the colourful furniture, removed again a lot of marble sections. They, while they were working on this, uh, a baby grand piano arrived and was placed in the suite and the work continued for two or three days and then they completely disappeared. So that is just one example of how suddenly things can happen. I remember we were having lunch with colleagues, with our departmental people. I was so surprised to learn how one couple lived in the hotel dormitory, one worked in the laundry, one worked in the housekeeping department. They had left their three-year-old daughter in their home village with their parents. And this village was four to five hours by car from the hotel. And they stayed working in the hotel for months at a time without seeing their daughter. But because both of them were working, they were able to earn a good living to look after both the daughter and their parents and also do renovations to their house, which I did in fact visit at a later stage. So that was very moving and shows how hard working life was for many people. On another occasion, I was going through my daily routines to authorise leave for staff members and uh, noticed there was one particular person who had had repeated time off, actually it was harvest time. And the reason why this person repeatedly needed time off was to go and help harvest the family farm. It was a very pressured situation for many staff at this time of year who applied for leave because their parents needed them to help work on the farm. And the hotel, of course, also needed them to work during what was often a peak period. We were always able to come to a solution, but it highlighted the, you know, the difficulties of uh, life in these particular circumstances and how hard-working and self-sacrificing the people were. During the time I spent in China, which lasted several years, I could see how society had greatly improved due to the self-sacrifice, hard work and determination of many people, of the people in China. And it's a great privilege to observe that firsthand. I learned a lot from that myself too. So I just really want to express that finally and say thank you and jai